Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jeff and this is Will to Live Outdoors. So I'm sure nobody's noticed. We are at a 41 year high of inflation. Gas is near $5 a gallon. The supply chain is still in, still a wreck. And used car prices are at ridiculous levels. There are people that are buying diesel trucks, driving them for four months, turning around and selling them for a massive profit. Uh, it's just, it's defies logic. It's just, it's crazy right now what's going on. We got a chip shortage, got all these other factors that are just making the used car market just absolutely crazy right now. So the question is to you, if you had $10,000, what are you going to build? What platform is out there trying to, and I don't care what brand, but, uh, I'm, we're, we're sticking with, uh, with the Toyota here. So we're just trying to find something that's a Toyota, uh, you could acquire less than $10,000. It's a solid bill to be able to uh, build up, still drive it every day, but uh, be able to wheel the crap out of it. Uh, million mile motor, maybe that 4.7 V8, uh, maybe leaning towards first gen Tundra. Uh, another good value that's out there right now is also uh, the first uh, Sequoias also. Um, it's pretty, uh, pretty capable. Um, it's, I'm starting to see more and more of them out on the trails. Um, but, uh, we're trying to stick more towards a truck, but, uh, what, what would you go with any brand? I'm curious. Okay. Speaking of, uh, vehicle prices that have just gotten out of control, my forerunner TRD pro, uh, has went up in value just an insane amount. Um, honestly, it just kind of gets to the point where, you know, I, I mean, I thought about even selling it because, uh, I mean, th these prices, man, they're like uh, mid 50s, or, you know, low 60s with the modifications. Uh, could probably get every bit of that. And, you know, but then it's like, well, what are you going to replace it with? You know, Aaron and I, uh, you, you remember Aaron. Aaron's my buddy. We went uh, to, uh, to, to Dallas, Georgia and picked up his, uh, his Range Rover um, last year. And uh, he found that on uh, Marketplace. But, uh, you know, he's been looking. And I'm kind of giving this away a little bit. But uh, he's been looking and, uh, you know, specifically looking for something in the Toyota family. And so, you know, I looked at 4Runners, looked at uh, Lexus GXs. Uh, just, you know, all the things that are out there that can uh, that have got a good platform to build off of. And uh, it's kind of really looking at the Tacoma and it found uh, found a few of them, uh, 2016, 17, 18s. But uh, uh, CarMax had one that was a uh, pretty good price. Uh, found a few on Auto Trader. <laughs> then there's, you know, then there's like, well, let's just find something to build. I mean, you like do a really good build off of one. And, you know, you're looking at uh, just a, a, a absolute project for seven thousand dollars and it's going to require just a ton of work and um and there's no it's like why i mean there's just there's other things out there um but uh you know keep kind of coming back to the tundra and uh you know we're gonna I, i've been looking he's looking and uh you know maybe we'll come up with something that is uh, um, a good start, something with some good bones, so to say. But, uh, you know, I just feel like it's such a good platform. The 4.7 V8, that's a million mile engine. Um, they are overbuilt. Uh, you know, longevity wise, you could put, just take a ton of abuse and just keep going. So, uh, that's uh, probably going to be the direction we're going. So, uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's progress on through this. Uh, Kind of take you along for the ride here and uh and see but uh, i'll check with him later and see if he's came up with anything and i'm driving here so i need to get off so anyway check you later what's up aaron what's up? found anything yet nope i got uh, a lot of options but they're either all rusted junk or too much money that's pretty sad. I found one uh, about Fort Smith. She said the reason it was so cheap is because the frame was rusty. And I said, well, can I get pictures? And she replied with, no. 
So that's not a very Christian thing to do. That was all done with her. But I did find one college station. Oh. Well, hopefully that pans out. It's uh it's a ways down there. But we'll shoot him a message and see what happens. Well it's not our first go around with the long trip, so it's better than Georgia. Yeah, that is true. Well we got this fine, fine O2 here. It's got sweet tailgate, four doors, beat two pieces, smooth twelve thousand. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stay away from that one. Yeah. We'll see what goes with the other one. Ten and four. The market on these uh, Toyota 4x4s is insane right now. And there's really not what I would consider a budget buy. Anymore. But there is these uh, first gen Tundras and they are heating up so um that's about you uh, where you're limited to um it's uh, that and the sequoia for an suv but uh anyway uh, i'm gonna let aaron explain uh where we're going this time and uh, what he's bought well we're currently in the georgia range rover <laughs> yeah uh, we're headed to south side of texas college station about six hour drive for us no big deal yeah be back tonight no uh sleeping in state parks tonight or national forest with any luck yeah hopefully yeah <laughs> we'll see <laughs> all right we got stacks of cash because all the a and m uh atms um jimbo's already rated those and uh you know you got to get that five-star recruiting class those top prospects yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, anyway, we're not buying Lamborghinis. We're just buying a first gen Tundra. So anyway, we will, um, keep count of how many, uh, stops for gas, uh, how many cool vehicles we see along the way, uh, and any of that jazz. But, uh, anyway, this, uh, Range Rover is, uh, pulling out of the parking lot. After being on the road for a bit, we decided to have lunch at Whataburger. Highly recommend this Whataburger in Gilmer, Texas. It's top notch, good service, and the grilled chicken sandwich is unreal good for a fast food place. I see. Five and a half hours down. Is that what we yeah. right now? Uh -huh. That wasn't too bad. That was uh, with the stop at Whataburger. Come on, man. Come on. Well, the good news is all we got to do is pay this guy, make sure that this is legitimate and whatnot, and uh that it looks like it's portrayed but he's a pretty solid dude so i'm pretty pretty sure it'll be fine and then we gotta just turn around and do the whole thing over again on the way home no big deal yeah
After exchanging money and getting signatures on bill of sales, it's time to leave. As soon as Aaron <laughs> finds the keys. Yes, we've already lost the keys. So uh, money's changed hands, Aaron's got the title and everything, and uh, we are uh, ready to, uh, to head back towards home, and we've, uh, it's a little bit hotter here in uh, the College Station area than it is at, uh, um, in our neck of the woods, but uh, anyway, um, this truck's pretty solid. Uh, we're going to navigate our way back, uh, make it some running shots going down the road and whatnot. If we stop, we'll just kind of do a little bit more in-depth walk around of uh, just some initial things. Um, and then I plan on doing a, pulling a video together here in a, uh, in a couple of days and uh, let Aaron go over everything that he plans on doing to this truck as far as upgrades and modifications here uh, to turn this into a budget wheeler. So anyway, all right, well, I'm gonna get off of here while I'm driving because I do not want an accident driving this Range Rover. All right, pain at the pump, pain at the pump. Let's go. Oh my God. Jeez. Yeah. All right, Tundra is filled up. First gas stop for the Range Rover. Not bad at all. After driving for several hours, we decided to stop at a uh, Shell gas station in Henderson, Texas. It's a very nice gas station, had a wide selection of drinks and snacks. After paying out, you just want to make sure as you proceed back to the parking lot that you watch out for the tower uh, that the uh, birds are roosting on. Uh, you do not want to get hit with a poop bomb. tailgate this for a second. So, uh, how many, uh, what your model is it? It's an 01. It's got the 4.7. We're showing 212, 288. Little aftermarket Picture. radio. Got a little double den there. All right, cool, cool. Everything is ready for building. Oh, yeah, for sure. What, uh, what, what, what do you have it listed on? Was it Marketplace? Uh, marketplace, yeah. Found it on Marketplace. We've been talking for a couple of weeks. Uh -huh. Maybe not quite a couple of weeks, but we couldn't get together on the time. And he waited and took out. Now that unit over there was also on Marketplace. Yeah. It's Georgia for that. Yeah. This is a much quicker trip. We can get there and back before we got there. So. Yeah. It was okay. quite the trip. No camping in the woods. No, no. No. 
you know, hopefully, hopefully we have no issues. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a solid build. All right, uh, we have uh, topped off our tank. It drove good, so we've been about, what, three hours now driving since we left, pretty yeah. close to it. Yeah. No issues. We got, uh, we got about two and a half hours left. Highly recommend this place. I think we're in Henderson, Texas. Yeah, nicest shell gas station I've ever seen. Yeah. Not to be little any other shell gas stations, but uh, Texas does gas stations well. Yeah, they do, big time. Yeah. All right, then we're gonna put this tailgate up and uh, head back. Yeah. You give you some wap wap. Getting after it. There you go. Heck yeah. Make <laughs> All right. Well, we got another two and a half hours to go. We're going to wrap this video up and uh, we will put something together here. Uh, put something together here in the next week or so um, that uh, details what, uh, what he's got planned to do with this unit because I. Uh, going to be a epic build. Anyway, it's going to be an epic build. I just almost ran over somebody back there. Yeah, he's going to he's going to do some stuff that's uh, pr pretty wild. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus. <laughs> As we make our final push home, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and leave us a comment and let us know what your budget off-roader would be.